Hey guys, what's up, what's up, what's up? So I am coming to you guys because I want to show you guys um, one of these um, butterfly chairs that I'm doing. Today while I was at work, I got an order for a nine-year-old little girl um, Easter basket. She did, The mom didn't want book bags. She didn't want a lot of stuff. So I suggested, I remember I had these butterfly chairs that I had picked up over the summer um, from Dollar General. And um, so I suggested the butterfly chair and that went over well. She wanted activities for the little girl to do. Um, she wanted lip gloss. <laughs> she wanted um, the unicorn head, head bands that I have. Um, and... Um, so I think I, I think I achieved what she wanted um, and we are going to go in and make this butterfly chair. Um, hopefully I, I, I will stay in frame. I'm trying to stay in frame. I'm trying to record in uh, full screen and I also just move the table back just so I have more working space because this chair is large um, and I'm going to shrink wrap it on camera. Okay guys, so let me adjust the camera. Give me one second and we'll get right into making it. Okay, so let me move it down. Okay, I'm moving the camera down. Okay, so. Okay, so there, there's my guy and there's my chair. So we are going to use this big guy. He is pretty, pretty big. And I took the case that the chair came in. I'm just going to sit him on top of it. I'm going to sit him in here just like this. And then I'm going to go in with the bubble. Um, what is this? Summer Fun Party Set. It has 111 pieces. So these are a lot of activities for um, her. And I actually didn't even read what was all in here. Um, some balloon, jump rope, bubble bottle, bubble gun, squirt gun, Flying this, which is a frisbee, two bouncy balls, six chalks, a hundred balloons, and one water balloon nozzle. That's pretty cool. I guess uh, it's 14 pieces besides a hundred balloons. Okay, so we're going to place this in his arm. And I'm going to pull his head down. So I don't like how his head is sitting up. So I'm going to pull his head down and I'm going to, actually what I did was I took fishing wire, fishing string, I don't know why I keep saying wire, and I um, tied it around his, the, his, his top of his head and I'm going to, and I secured it to the top of his head, I'm going to tape it to the box, but before I take it to the, tape it to the box, I'm going to make a knot. That way by making a knot in, this, this comes right off, it's just tied on there. Um, but by making a knot in the fishing wire, what I'm doing is stopping and preventing the fishing wire from sliding through the tape. At least that's what I'm attempting to do. So I'm just going to make a couple knots. Okay, I think I got it. And I'm going to attach my tape. Dash that kind of secure. And now his head is sitting down. Because his head kept flopping backwards. Okay. Um, make sure you guys can see what I'm doing. And now I'm going to go in with my items. The items are on the floor. So I want to place in this um, one swim ring. It's a llama. It's pretty cute. Got that from Dollar General. We're going to place that right behind him. Um, so this is going to be really simple, really fast. The, the slowest part is the string wrap. So I wanted to give her something to do inside of her room because, um, because it's the chair I wanted to, that's going to go in her room. I decided to throw in the room banner. She's nine and she wanted a coloring book. So I thought that this book, I can't show you the pages. But it says the key to life is positivity, advanced coloring. So I put that in there. And unfortunately, um, 
the crayons. I, I wanted to use pencils, not crayons, um, but um, I can't find it right now. So I'm pretty sure she likes to color. She has some at home already. So oh, and I placed the the um, headband that she wanted, the unicorn headband that she wanted. So I placed that right on that book. And I taped these two things together just to secure them because I want to add height to the items. Um, then, so she requested candy. This is one of my parents that wants candy. So what I did was I couldn't figure out how I was going get to get it in here. I could have just placed it at the bottom of the um, bath, the, the chair, but I didn't want to do that. I'm going to be a little bit more neater with it. So I just took a contain a plastic container that was holding like some pens or something. And I just placed candy all in it, all around candy, all down in there. And then I also placed pens for her to, I guess, write with. Um, and then I also gave her the sequenced unicorn keychain. So she'll love that. She'll she'll definitely love that. So I'm gonna place that in here. I think I'm gonna have to place them just the back just a little bit. And pull that down. I might have to secure that a little better. And then I'm gonna place this right here. I'm going to secure that. and secure that. Secure it on the one side and then I'm going to go in and secure it on the other side so it doesn't move while I'm shrink wrapping. So that's going to stay right there. Okay and then we are going to place in some popcorn and a chocolate bunny rabbit um the bunny rabbit is just to give it that easter feel so i'm gonna place that right here i'm gonna secure that popcorn down with just a single piece of tape i just don't want it sliding off the box and now i'm gonna secure the bunny rabbit down the chocolate bunny rabbit. I'm, I'm making sure that my items are inside and not hanging off the chair because we're going to shrink wrap that. Then I'm going to go in with some cotton candy. I'm just going to place that right here. And I'm going to move his, his wing. He's going to sit his wing behind the chair, I mean behind the book right here. a good space and I'm going to secure that also just so it don't move and this secure tape comes right off uh -oh. um, I don't want to block the the unicorn headband um, then I'm going in with a couple more snacks some goldfish and some Doritos. Gotta pop this here so I can sit this right on top of here. And I'm gonna um, secure that with the tape also. Just a small piece of tape. And then I'm gonna put the goldfish on top of, uh, actually at the bottom of the Doritos. So that should stay. And then I wanted to go in. She wanted lip gloss. So I have this Fruity Pebbles lip gloss. I'm going to place that right here. And before I place that, I'm going to go in with my shred. And just mix it up a little bit. I have blue and green shred. The blue is plastic. The green is paper. So just going to add a little bit of it. Well, a lot of it. Push that right up underneath that. And, okay. Add my 
my last two little items. Um, now, I was debating where, where should I place these, this um, Kool-Aid jammer. I don't know if I want to place it here. I think I should place it here. I don't know. Um, it's going to fall back wherever I place it. So, and I don't really want to cover up that whole set. Uh, I think I'm going to place it over here. I'm not really concerned about it being seen. I'll secure it down, though, with a piece of tape. I'm going to secure the lip gloss. And I'll secure the Kool-Aid jammer. Okay. Slide that tray over. And I'm going to grab my... Let me see, you guys. Can you guys see? Okay. It looks good. I think it looked good. I'm going to grab my shrink wrap bag. And I believe this is 50 by 44 shrink wrap bag. We're going to move this up a little bit. So, oh, you know what? I forgot the eggs. Can't forget the eggs. That was the space that I was leaving. Okay. So, I'm going to put tape on each one of the eggs just to hold those in place. Oh, it's coming it's coming together. I like it. I like it. She said, um, the, I guess you could say she's my coworker. She, um, has a Jeep and, um, she says she can come pick it up in the Jeep. Cause I'm like, Oh, wait, nah, wait. I don't think I should do that basket because it's, it's going to be really big. She's like, well, I can let the seats down. I'm like, okay. So, um, LBE had did these baskets um, last year. And um, I thought they were really, really cute. She used a, I think they were like multicolored chairs. Um, but I went in with the gray. I had the leopard print, but... Um, Leopard print wasn't going to work for the nine-year-old. So I figured the gray would be, be okay. So let me see if you guys can see. So we are going to go on the top. Look, see? I'm about to shrink wrap the tape. That's how I lost that uh, shrink wrap done last year, so... Excuse the noise. So it's going to be a, a somewhat tight fit. Not too tight. But it's going to be tight a little bit. Change the bag out. I think no, nah, this is the bag I'm gonna use. So, in order to make it fit, I have to adjust the chair, just pull the chair in a little bit. This is okay. I'm gonna get the top down first before I pull it in. So, I'm pulling it in. Hold this side. Pull that side down. Then I'm going to pull this other side down. And then pull it back down. Okay. So, I'm being careful not to rip the bag. Okay. 
So I don't want to put it too tight. So I don't want to smash my guy here. Um, just going to check the back out. We'll just pull the bag a little bit more. Still not trying to smash my guy. Okay. So now I'm going to go in and shrink wrap. I'm not going to, um, how do you say it? I'm not going to tape it down just quite yet until I start shrink wrapping. So it's still going to be a little noisy, guys. And I'm starting with the corner over here. I'm paying attention to my stuffed animal to make sure he doesn't pull in. I'm doing the other corner. Now I'm just gonna hit the front. I'm working my way down, unlike the basket where you would start at the bottom, you want to start at the corners with these weird shaped items, baskets, containers, whatever you want to call it. And on the sides, I can get tighter. Coming out full. It looks good. So yeah, one of the reasons why I wanted to shrink wrap this is because it's such a large basket and I don't want it to move. Um, and I don't want the items to shift. And if you notice, I'm holding this right here. You can actually make this do what you want. So I'm holding the corner. Hope you guys can see that. And I have the heat on it. I can place the heat on it. Oops, burn my hand, but and I can place it down. If I hold it like that for a few seconds, it'll stay down. See? It'll stay down. You don't have to take it or anything. So street wrap, you can make it do what you want it to do. If I was to if I was to Okay, if I was to shrink wrap this right, and say I say I made a mistake and I didn't have I didn't put everything I wanted to put in there, I could open this back up by heating by heating it, and then just you know you don't want to take it all the way down, all the way apart, but you can open up to um to place your item back in there, and then. You know, but you got to heat it up. Got to heat the bag up. And place your item back in there and then seal it back. Also, you can 
before you take your baskets out, I always hit my baskets. You know, the ones that got shrink wrap, I always hit them again with the, with the heat gun. Just to tighten it up, just to make it, you know, um, give it a fresh look. So since this basket is not going on the street, it's going from her car to my house, I don't have to continue, I didn't have to uh, go all the way down to the, to the bottom. But if I was going outside with this, I think I would want to go all the way to the bottom with the strength wrap. I'm almost done. I'm going to pull the camera in so you guys can see. I have another one of these chairs, another one of these bears, and I think I want to um, do another one and take out on the street. Okay, so I didn't have to take anything down. I hope you guys were able to hear me over all the noise I just made. Let me place this somewhere where it's going to burn the light off. Okay, that's not a good place. And I did forget to put the fruit, the, uh, the welches in there. I know I was going to forget something. Oh, well. But I'm going with my bow. Grab a piece of tape. So I already pre-made the bow. I wanted to go on with some pink just to signify girl. Girl, girl, girl. I don't know if I should place them on the side. I think it'll look better on the side. Maybe here. And there's that film, um, that powder they put on these bags. Okay, let me see what you guys see. And I think it came out cute. I'll move it back a little bit. And it came out cute. I like it. I like it. Um, so that's all she wrote. But okay, guys. Um, thank you, guys. Let me put this camera up a little bit more because I'm not sure y'all gonna be able to see me. So thanks for coming in my kitchen. Thanks for making this with me. I appreciate you guys. I hope my customer loves it. Um, she has everything that she asked for in here. Um, tons of candy. Um, without giving her diabetes. Sorry, I shouldn't have said that. Um, but yeah, tons of candy. Her lip gloss. Her activities for outside. This is what she asked for. The pool float. Um, the coloring book, the um, unicorn headbands, and the chair. So hopefully she, she likes it. I think it came out real cute. Okay, guys. Stay up, stay up, stay blessed, guys. Have a good one, guys. Oh, I'm about to go do something else. Okay, guys.